Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Define algebraic expression and other terms associated to it. Identify constants, variables, and coefficients. Understand like and unlike terms. And classify like and unlike terms. Let us define the following. First one, algebraic expression. It is a constant, a variable, or a combination of constants and variables connected by a finite number of operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, raising to an exponent, or extracting a root. Examples, we have here a constant, a variable, a combination of a constant and a variable, we have here combination of variable and constant and connected with an operation such as addition. Here, subtraction. This one, multiplication. Raising to a power or extracting a root. These are algebraic expressions. Next, constant. Any symbol whose value does not change. It means it has a fixed value. So in here, 8 is a constant. X is not. 9 here is technically a constant, but since it is combined with a variable, these two works as 1. And when this variable takes on different values such as 2, this will become 9 times 2 which is equal to 18. So we do not consider here 9 as a constant. If you wonder how it is called now, I'll tell you later. 2w is the same case as 9y. 3 here is a constant. Square root of 5a and 7b is same case as 9y. c is not a constant. pi is a constant. It is an irrational number approximately equal to 3.1416. Next one, variable. Any symbol, usually letter, that takes on different values. So here we have x. Here is y, w, a, b, and c. These are variables. Let's continue. Algebraic term, or simply term, part of an algebraic expression separated by plus or minus sign with this sign included. So I have here again the algebraic expressions. Let us identify the algebraic term or terms. In here, we only have one term, and that is 8. Here is x. Here, as I mentioned earlier, 9y works as 1. So we only have one term, and that is 9y. In here, we have two terms, 2w and positive 3. Here, we have a square root of 5a, 7b, but make sure the sign is included. So this should be negative 7b. Here, we have c cubed, positive c cubed. But if it is positive, we do not include any more the plus sign. So simply c cubed. And the constant, which is pi. Next word, coefficient. Any factor of a given product. Example, 5xyz. So here, 5 is the coefficient of xyz. xyz is the coefficient of 5. We can also say that 5x is the coefficient of yz. Now, we have two kinds of coefficient. We have the numerical coefficient. It is the constant coefficient. So, in here, the constant coefficient is 5. Now, you know what it is called when a constant is combined with a variable. It's no longer just a constant, but a numerical coefficient. Another one is the literal coefficient. This is the variable part. So in here, the variable part is x, y, and z. So the literal coefficient is x, y, z. Now let's have an activity. Who am I? We are going to identify the following from this algebraic expressions. First one, so 5 here is a constant. We do not have a variable. We only have one term, and that is 5 itself. We do not have numerical coefficient because 5 is just a constant here. It is not combined with any variable. And so, we do not have also literal coefficient. Here, 3 is not considered a constant but a numerical coefficient. Z is a variable. We only have one term because this 2 works as 1. And that term is 3z. Our literal coefficient is z. In here, the constant is 9. The variable is x. We have 1, 2. 
two terms. Those terms are negative x and positive 9. Our numerical coefficient is the constant coefficient of this variable. Since you do not see any number here, it is understood to be 1. So we have negative 1. And our literal coefficient is x. Here, the constant is 1. The variables are x and y. We have 1, 2, 3 terms. Those terms are square root of 2x, negative y, and the constant 1. Numerical coefficients are square root of 2 and negative 1. Literal coefficients are x and y. Here, we do not have a constant. Variables are a, b, and c. We have 3 terms. Those are positive a, negative 2b, and positive 3c. Numerical coefficients are the invisible 1 here, negative 2, and positive 3. Literal coefficients are a, b, and c. Next one, pi here is not considered a constant. We have two variables, r and h. This is considered as just one term because the operation here is multiplication. And that term is the whole pi, r squared, h. Numerical coefficient is the constant coefficient of the variable and that would be pi. Literal coefficient is r is squared h. Take note that you have to include the exponent for literal coefficient if there is any. Unlike in variables that you just have to identify the letters. And also, I did not separate this with a comma because I only have one term here. Last one. We do not have constant here. The variables are W and Y. We have two terms. Those terms are 11 over 25W and 20Y. Numerical coefficients are 11 over 25 and 20. And literal coefficients are W and Y. This time, let us talk about like or similar terms. These are terms that have the same literal coefficients, and constant coefficients may be different. Examples, 11x, 20x, 77x. So just simply look at the literal coefficients. If they are exactly the same, then they are like or similar terms. So the literal coefficient here is x, here is x, and here is x. Therefore, similar terms. S, S, S. Never mind the constant coefficients. Just take a look at the literal coefficients. So S, S, and S are all the same. Similar terms. 5Z, 3Z, 3Z. So it says here constant coefficients may be different. 5 and 3 are different. But it could also be the same like 3 and 3. For as long as the literal coefficients are the same, Z, Z, C, they are like terms. V, 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 like terms. X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, like terms. P, Q, Q, P, P, Q. Is P, Q the same as Q, P? Yes, it is. The exponent of P here is 1. Here, it is also 1. The exponent of Q here is 1. In here, it is also 1. So they were just interchanged, but they are the same. And here is another P, Q. So these are like terms. B squared C cube, B squared C cube, C cube B squared. Let us first analyze B. The exponent of B is 2. So in all terms, the exponent of B should be 2. And that is correct. Now for C, the exponent should be 3. So here is 3 and here is also 3. So these three terms are similar terms. Next one, unlike or dissimilar terms. So these are terms that have different literal coefficients. This could be having the same variables but with different exponents or having different variables at all. Samples. So we have 2b and 2d. b and d are different variables. x, y, z, different variables. Here is just a constant, w and u, different variables. 
m squared n, m squared n squared, n squared m. Actually, they all have the same variables, m and n. But let's take a look at the exponents. In here, m is raised to the second power. So that should be the case for all terms. So here to the second power, but in here, just to the first power. n is raised to the first power, in here to the second power, and also here to the second power. So nothing is exactly the same. So the similar terms. pq, pq squared, q p squared. So the exponents of p and q are both 1, but in here, q is raised to the second power. In here, p is raised to the second power. Nothing is exactly the same, so these are the similar terms. Let us have an activity. Look alike. Tell whether the given set of terms is like or unlike terms. Number one, both are constant, so these are like terms. Number two, x, y, different variables, unlike terms. Number three, ef, ef, fe, just the same, like terms. Number four, kh, th, kl. So be careful, kh, th, kl. Unlike terms. Last one, a b squared c cube, a squared b c cube, a squared b squared c. Nothing is the same, so unlike terms. This time, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. <laughs> Let us answer. So we have to enumerate the like terms on each set. Number one, the like terms are 2c, negative 5c, negative c, and c over 3. Because c over 3 can also be expressed as one third c. Number two, the like terms are negative pq and 13 pq. Number three, the like terms are 7m squared n to the fourth, negative n to the fourth m squared, and negative 7, m squared, n to the fourth. m is raised to the second power in all terms, and n is raised to the fourth power in all terms. Number four, the like terms are b cubed d to the fourth, and negative 15, b cubed d to the fourth. So b is raised to the third power, and d is raised to the fourth power. Gets?